Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be looking at how you can control your normal lamps with your Hue app. So uh, let's roll titles. Hello, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv. Now, as regular viewers will know, I'm a massive fan of the Hue ecosystem. Pretty much every light fitting in this house has a Hue bulb in it, and I just love being able to control the lights and use the motion sensors and switches and scenes and everything like that to light my home and make everything a bit more automated and smart. If you've got a special lamp that you can't actually put a Hue bulb in, then it's sort of out of the loop. You can't use like the smart automations and stuff with the Hue app. It's just sort of off the grid almost. So um, yeah, that's a bit annoying. I've come across this problem because James did have a Hue powered bedside lamp, but we went shopping one day and um, we came across this. This is a sort of rather funky looking bedside light but um, it's a bit annoying because this isn't a Hue bulb. Like, especially for a child, Hue is really handy because you can switch the lights off from your phone so you don't have to go into the room and disturb them. So if they like a bit of a nightlight, which James does, when he had a Hue lamp before, I could just click a button on my phone and turn his light off. But with this one, because of its rather funky bulb, I can't do that anymore. So I have to sort of sneak into his room and try and turn it off and, you know, battle past the teddies he's thrown on the floor and uh, try not to wake him up. So uh, yeah, let me show you how this looks and uh, why it's slightly different from your regular kind of bowl. Let's bring in some power and um, let's turn this on. Now, now it's quite hard to see, but basically it's a bulb with various LEDs in and it's got like a ref, refractive plastic light dome that spins around and it produces like a really nice light that sort of fills his room. It's not too bright and sort of intense, but it's just sort of like this slightly trippy light that flickers around his room, which is really cool. But but the only way at the moment you can control it is with this switch. And that's fine, but I want to have something a little smarter. So I was pondering what to do and uh, I came across this product. So this is a Philips Hue smart plug. Now, smart plugs have been a thing for quite a while now and I have owned several, like I've got a TP-Link one and there's some other no-name Chinese brand that I can't remember, and they work brilliantly. I use them for Christmas tree lights. But this Philips Hue smart plug is designed to work within the Hue app and ecosystem, so it seems perfect. Now, you can control this by two ways. Um, you can either do it via Bluetooth using the Hue Bluetooth app, or I'm going to set it up to use my Hue hub. A lot of Hue bulbs now do come with Bluetooth capability, and I know people do like to control their lights via Bluetooth, but I've got a Hue hub, and I think personally that's the best way to control a whole house full of lights. But if you're interested in seeing a video of this being set up as a Bluetooth device, then uh, drop a comment below, and I might do a second follow-up video showing you how you can set this up using the Bluetooth app. But in this video, I'll be using it, setting it up through the normal, but in this video, I'll be setting it up using the standard Hue app and uh, adding it to my hub. So uh, here's a smart plug, let's get it out of the box. Now, because I'm a rubbish YouTuber, I can't remember how much this was. I think it was around 20 pounds or 29 pounds. That figures in my head for some reason. I might be wrong, but when I'm editing this, I'll put it on the screen. Now, it's actually quite a sort of chunky plug there. I'd say that's probably about, mm, about three centimeters. Get the plastic off. It does say maximum 13 amps, so I wouldn't recommend stringing a load of uh, accessories off of this and using it to turn those on and off because you know, that's more than 13 amps. 
but I would say this is absolutely perfect for powering like you know lamps and stuff like that which is what we're going to do so here we go there it is so we've got normal UK three pin plug socket on there and then we've got the UK three pin plugs on there there seems to be a QR code there we might need that who knows um, what else do we have in the box I imagine yeah just some really kind of basic instructions about how um, how you should set it up so um, yeah it looks like we are B um, Oh yeah, look, there you go. It expands further. So I've never used one of these before. I've never set it up and basically I'm going in completely blind. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward, but who knows? So um, let's get the power back in and uh, plug this in and see what happens. And there we go. So that is now plugged in and uh, it's a bit difficult to see but there is a very faint green LED light there poking through. I was expecting it to go into some sort of setup mode where it had like an orange blinking light, but it doesn't. Now, um, oh look, there we go. Oh, oh the light's gone out. So uh, let's get my phone and uh, try and set this up with the Hue app. Right, so here we are in the Hue app and hopefully you can see that on the screen too. Um, right, there we go. We're in to the settings and on accessories. Add accessory. I assume this is an accessory. Uh, what have we got? We have got a, oh, it's a Hue smart plug. There we go. Make sure the lights and Hue smart plugs you want to add are connected to the power. Okay, so we need to plug in the light as well. I don't know if I've done something there, but the little light has turned red. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to search. Oh, number of lights found, one. Okay, so I'm assuming it's that. Start configuration, there we go, look. Okay, so what should we call this? We will call this um, Jane Bedside Light. Um, and I don't know why it's it's like a thing, but you can choose a rounded bulb. I suppose I suppose it shows the different icon in the app. You could use the smart plug to turn on anything really, um, but because we're using to, to start a light, then uh, we just stick it as the rounded bulb. So if we save it, there we go, James bedside light, done. So we need to drag it to the room it's in. So it's actually down as office, so I can drag it into there, done. And there we go, that's saving. And our lights are ready to use, awesome. So if we go into the home, then we go to the office, there we go, James Bedside Light is there and uh, hopefully, in theory, I can just press this. There we go! <laughs> that is so cool! Now there seems to be a little switch on the top here. Is that like a manual override? Let's see. Yes, that's a manual override. So you can control it without using the Hue app. So you don't you don't need to fumble around for the app necessarily if you just want to quickly turn it off. I mean, there's still the inline switch as well. Um, so it's always got to be on, on the on position, or else, well, the light it just turn, the light will be off. But that's really smart. I can just turn it on and off within the app. Now, obviously. This isn't a color changing bulb or anything like that. So you can't change the color of the bulb or change the brightness, but I don't want to do that. I just simply want to be able to turn the light on and off and uh, have a bit of control over it from, from in here basically, and uh, not have to 
shuffle into his room and disturb his sleep to turn the light on and off. And also, because this is now part of my Hue ecosystem within the house, I can add this to the Hue light switches in his room and he's got one of those by his bed and he can just press that and uh, turn this on. So he'll be able to control that light and all his other lights as normal with the Hue remote control. That's really, really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to be doing some more um, Hue sort of setup stuff in the future. So uh, I'd definitely subscribe to this channel if you're interested in to Hue. I'm gonna be looking at a few different Hue products. And also when we move house, I'm gonna do a whole video on setting up how to configure an entire house using Hue products, which should be quite interesting. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, in a couple of months times, when I hopefully make those videos, you'll get to see them. Um, that is this uh, video finished. So uh, if it's been of any help to you at all whatsoever, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you don't like me and you think I smell of cheese, give it a thumbs down, it's fine. Either way, it's all interaction and it all helps my channel grow, which is fantastic. So um, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.